Jolly Biscuit Chat. <clears throat> this is what happened with him. So, 53, let's, let's just read, let open this on a new tab channel. 53 days until the election. <laughs> uh, right off the bat. Uh, we're in a podcast room. This is a, some kind of podcasting closet, I assume. It's called the Piss and Shit Boys with an I. So you know they're hip and trendy. Before we start the show, let's all rise for the singing of our national mantham. And then they put in a VHS tape, <laughs> which kind of ages Mr. Nubbly, I'm not going to lie, for two and a half men. And they all sing... Men, 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 manly, men, 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 manly, men, men, men. I'm almost a hundred percent sure that that is a real sentence in Chinese. Let's continue. Oh, they they start, are still singing. In fact, there's even a very tiny man singing with them. It goes men, 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 manly, men. Ooh, hoo, 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 ooh. And then uh, they sing men. Now, one of the manly men. Now, this guy, I've noticed now that they all only have right arms. And I assume, they, they don't even have like a nubbling of a left arm. They only have right arms. And I'm assuming, that is Mr. Nubbly implying, that they masturbate vigorously. So, one of the manly men... Ask the piss and shit boy roundtable. So, did you hear about the news? Did you hear the news about Spingle Cat? Uh, and then he's interrupted by another manly man calling him abruptly a cuck. Um, I don't know if this is the one that called him a cuck or is a different one, but he's saying. This used to be, a, or could even be a third, a third manly man. There's many manly men in this table. He says, this used to be a real country. Too many men have forgotten the manly ways, and now they're going to make a chick president, or top P, as one might say. A leader needs tea, and a woman can't even, even get no tea in their pee, and the spingle cat is a low tea beta male. <sighs> yeah, that's a pretty accurate summation of some people, I, I assume. So then there's another guy who's um, a little bit sad while he says this. Says, yeah, Spingamaroo is a dumb show anyways, and it's for babies. And I'm a man, and I don't love anything not Spingle Cat when he goes Sping with his mouth and does the Spingle song and Spingle dance, Sping Spong. Now, I think that this, this is actually an insightful commentary on how masculinity, neo-masculinity is being presented on the internet chat. How everyone must present themselves in an ultra-masculine fashion in order to be avoided, uh, avoid being called out for being unmanly. Uh, this guy obviously enjoys Spingle Cat, but because of peer pressure, he's not allowed to say that. Very interesting chat. Another guy says, Listen, folks, you need three things to be manly. You need the tight pants, you need the T-Max, and most importantly, you need conspicuous consumption. So, Nubbly has introduced the term maxing, into his lexicon. Um, and then conspicuous consumption is $3,000 sunglasses, $140,000 wristwatch, and $50 Dino Nuggy Bowl. And I'm actually starting to see that this is a reference to Andrew Tate, I guess, because he's always the one that's like blinged out. Now we're at the final row chat. 170 million private jet. Oh, look, that's a green Bugatti, isn't it? This is definitely an Andrew Tate reference. $150,000 sport car and a three, $30 million divorce. And I don't know who that's a reference to. If you know who got a $30 million divorce, uh, please write it in the chat. Um, now, we have seemingly cut to a completely different collective of piss and shit boys. They are right arm people like before. But we're now outside. And they're dressed up in like Hawaiian shirts like in Florida and they're pointed at a dog who's just sitting there and then they run at him they run at the dog and then for some reason they then end up in jail after the worst bender ever 
How did we end up in a Turkish prison? Truly men are the most oppressed minority. Now who's going to check up my trap, check on my trap for picking up women? And then there is a trap. It's in plain daylight. And it's a sign that points to a block of cheese and says free cheese on a sign. There's also a button. I see we're back, chat. Great. I think that Mr. Nubbly has identified that there's only one person that reads his comics, and that's me. And he is now deliberately fucking with me personally. He is trying to cause me problems. He is now trying to include references to slobber mutts and European fine cheese in his comics, um, with the expectation that one day I'll be driven completely insane through a combination of tech mishaps, power outages, and... Mr. Nubbly Comics featuring slobber mutts and cheese shit. I assume that's what's happening here. Thank you for watching this clip. This is Perspicacity. Remember to like and subscribe.